your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. It is 12:19 as we head into this afternoon, the Independence Day afternoon. Of course, the fireworks later on tonight. Big shows coming up downtown Evansville, Owensboro, a lot of other places too. Our own Jacob Wiley is headed down to New Harmony for a big, uh, 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 big doings. <laughs> I think it's what you do. Uh, really? Where was our? I got no invite. Uh, anyways, we take a look at our Heads Construction Tower Cam shot. We're looking down upon the Strip in Henderson, off in the distance, downtown Evansville. Uh, that's where a lot of people are going to be, downtown Evansville, no doubt about that. Owensboro, too. Got, got some great shows all across the tri state. And really not bad weather for it. You just be prepared to sweat. I mean, that's the thing, especially this afternoon if you're out and about. You can see we've got some high cloudiness, but yeah, the sunshine's still peering through some of that, so we're going to call it a mix of sun and clouds. Uh, this flag is getting pushed a little bit now, just hanging there early this morning. Didn't have much of a wind, had a little bit of fog out there this morning, too. Obviously not a problem now, uh, but we're going to be seeing that wind at around 5 to 10 from the south, pushing that flag to the north throughout the day. You can see a few more clouds in play, too, over Central City. That's our Austin Homes camera looking down upon Phillipstone Way. There's a blue bridge. It's not going to be lit up with LED lights because of some storm damage that happened. Of course, there's a lot of storm damage all across the tri-state. Well, a lot of these LED lights on the bridge have been taken out by the storm, so it's going to take a while to prepare or to fix those. So not in time for the celebrations tonight in downtown Owensboro, for sure. So we take a look at our uh, Superior Ag camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. As we get a gander at the temperature, 86 degrees, dew point 68. It's pretty much been in the upper 60s throughout the morning. At times, it's crept up to around 70, 71 into that very humid range, or at least borderline very humid. But uh, it's going to stay for the most part in the upper 60s, so it's still humid enough, though. Feels like temperatures will still be in the mid-90s, if not the upper 90s later on today. South, southeast winds picked up a little bit at around 5 miles an hour. Temperature-wise, how low can we go? Well, we've got some temperatures a little cooler to the west of the Wabash because we've had some rain move in, 82 degrees right now in Fairfield. No reports still coming out of Carmi, uh, but they do have some rain in McLeansboro, so that's keeping the temperature down a little bit. 82 French Lake, most of us though in the mid-80s. 87, if not the upper 80s. 87 in Owensboro, 85 in Henderson, 88 now in Madisonville. And you tack on the humidity, it feels like 90 to 95 across much of the area. No problems with the visibility now, but we had that visibility problem this morning. Beautiful sunrise this morning though. Connie Howerton getting the shot here from Evansville. Lovely shot as she looks out from the west side. I believe she's on Wright's Hill when she takes this shot here, and I love it. She'll probably walk in her daybreak dogs as per usual. Connie, thank you so much for sending that picture my way. And from Webster County, love this shot here from Michaela Stewart. And one of the reasons why, you can see that layer of fog right there. It looks like a soybean field, so it's just right above the soybeans. You've got that fog. That's a great shot there from Michaela of that colorful sky to go along with the fog. Hey, this is pretty good, too. It's not fruit, but it is in three, two, one. Fuck it. Cloud. <laughs> it's shark cloud. It's shark week, but check out this cloud. We've had so many interesting looking clouds really in the past several days and especially over the weekend with all those storms. But this is really cool too. There's the snout of the shark and look at the shark teeth, those jagged teeth down there. This cloud was over Kathy Stevens' house and she decided to take a shot of it. And I'm glad she did. How, what better way to celebrate Shark Week, right, than a shark in the sky uh, with those teeth. It's awesome. Thank you so much, Kathy, for that. We are seeing a little bit of rain along I-57, the corridor there. Not a whole lot's been going on, but we are seeing more development, though, across the region. And they are going to work their way, basically, to the northeast. So we are going to be seeing a little bit of rain. We got just a touch of rain, really, just a few stray showers uh, around McLeansboro, southern Hamilton County. Uh, things looking pretty good elsewhere, though, as far as the rain is concerned. But look at this. I mean, our storm tracker across the region, we are seeing more development now back around Missouri. Of course, we've got some development uh, in Illinois. Not a whole lot in Indiana, but north of here, we are noticing just a little bit. It looks like a little bit of lightning, too. Got a chance for some thunder showers, but nothing severe is expected. But if you're traveling to Nashville, Cincinnati, Lexington, even Indianapolis might see a few showers, although I think a lot of that's going to stay to the south of Indy. Future Tracker is going to show the action. Not a whole lot of it here in the tri-state, but we are noticing a few showers. Things settle down. Here we are at 8.30 tonight, right before the fireworks. Still have a few clouds out there, but the rain is off the board, so it's looking good for the fireworks celebrations. As we head into our Wednesday, not quite looking as good, especially in the afternoon and evening, where we are going to see some showers and thunderstorms firing up, and we do have a severe threat for tomorrow. Although the latest run on our future track, really the last couple of runs, has shown what was going to be a pretty good line of showers and thunderstorms pushing in from the west, weakening a little bit. They're really not showing much of a line developing at all uh, for tomorrow, but we do have that threat. Slight risk, Evansville to the west, marginal risk to the east. As far as the threats, not all threats in play. The tornado threat less than 2%. Hail and wind threat though, 15%, where we do have that slight risk to the west, 5% or a level one 
into the east where we do have that uh, marginal risk. 91 for a high today with a mix of sun and clouds, a few showers and thunder showers, nothing severe expected. Humid, yes, so it feels like temperatures in the mid-90s for most of us with a south wind at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. And on the seven-day forecast, temperatures are going to be staying pretty hot tomorrow to 90 degrees. Very humid, looks like dew points are going to creep into the low 70s tomorrow. And then pretty good chance of rain also on Thursday, so not just tomorrow and We've got Thursday 60% shot, a little bit cooler with more clouds in play on Thursday. Friday looks like the best looking day of the week, 84, less humid, staying dry, loving what I'm seeing on Friday. Saturday, not bad. The humidity is going to creep back up in the afternoon, but the morning looks good. Morning lows are going to be the low 60s on Saturday, almost refreshingly cool before that humidity rears its ugly head again, Gretchen, gotcha. on Sunday. All right, we got our pet of the day next.